quick introductory video for someone just starting out on how to play the saws. Um, I'm doing this mainly because there's, it's really hard to find anything in English on the saws. Most of it's in Turkish um, for introductory videos, etc. Um, or lessons. But this is a Baglama saws, long neck saws. Hard to fit in the camera. There's also the Kura saws as a shorter neck, which plays the same, I guess. I've never tried them. Um, so, first off, we look at tuning. We got seven strings on the saws. Um, they're grouped in pairs, except the bottom it's three strings together, like a 12 string, so you play three at a time and fret them the same way. Um, that's tuned, the bottom three are tuned to A. Middle two are a pair, and they're tuned to D, and the top two are tuned to G. There's a different tuning you can use. This is the most standard tuning, though. Um, pretty much makes it an open chord. So, um, another thing that's different than, I'm assuming like if, you, if you're used to a stringed instrument, like a guitar or whatever, this should be pretty easy to get to, to play. Because um, it's a fretted instrument with strings. It works the same way, essentially, like a guitar. One main difference is the note system that they use in Turkish music. We don't, in Western music, we have 12 notes in our chromatic scale, 12 notes of music. This has 15. So we have my, what we call microtones, basically. There are notes in between notes that would sound out of tune, maybe, to someone not used to this type of music. So if I play just like a few notes, a few frets chromatically, you can probably hear that. There's some weird notes there. Those are the hardest to get used to and work with. Um, but I found it easiest to just get started on the bottom group of strings, on that A string. And try to just avoid the, the, the microtone notes. And use the other strings as a drone, the open strings. So um, one way to kind of get started on that easily with this tuning is you see the frets are big and some are very small. Um, follow the big frets for the most part. The, those are where you're going to find your notes that you're familiar with. And they fit well with open drone notes. kind of get used to those, then you can experiment with the, those microtones and they get pretty cool. Um, then try the same thing on the middle strings, the D strings. And I'll use the G open strings as a drum. Or just single, you know, just the G, D strings. pick. It's like a, it's called a tazine. It's a soft rubber pick. Makes a big difference. Trying to use a guitar pick is not, does not work good. Sounds bad and it's too hard on these. The strings are very light gauge. Um, any guitar technique will work on this basically. I mean, uh, we got hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, uh, vibrato. So, I mean, we can play chords on it as well. So it's, very similar to anything in the string family group, stringed instrument family. Um, some of the things, I mean, I'm not holding it the proper way, and it's partly to hold it in the camera. I'm sure someone's going to point that out, though. But, I mean, it's traditionally held more to the side off your leg. I found that uncomfortable, so I hold it weird. Um, my left hand is not the traditional way either. I mean, you'll see a lot of saws players will use their thumb and more of the three fingers. Uh, I find it easier to grip like a guitar, though. But, um... If you think of playing along the strings instead of down the frets at first, it's very easy to just jump into playing. Um, that's it for now. I'll try to do some more videos in the future if there's more requests for them on just some different technique on it. Before I forget, right hand technique for uh, strumming. Just listen to, um, you know, if you listen to some traditional music, Middle Eastern music, tr Turkish music, uh, you can pick up a lot of distinct rhythm and strum patterns. Um, try to mimic those. It'll make it give it more of that authentic sound. That's it for now. I hope this is helpful for anyone interested in learning to play the sods.